So let's do maybe the particular part one. So particular number one. So if we are looking for the particular solution to this first bit, what's our guess of the particular solution? Okay, so a cos x plus b sine x. So notice I left a little gap there and that's because you're wrong, but you're really close to being right. So there's solutions to this, which means we can like perturb them to find the, the correct solution by doing what? Yeah, yeah, you multiply by x. And in particular, you're gonna multiply by a certain power of x that's guided by whatever you have here. But in this case, it's just that. Okay, so now we can go ahead and calculate the derivatives. So let's see, we have y p prime. So we're gonna have to use the product rule both times here, right? So this is gonna be like a cos x minus a x sine x. And then we're gonna have plus b sine x plus b x cos x. Okay. So Again, we just use the product rule there. And then maybe I'll just write down the second derivative, but here's what you get to. You get minus 2a minus bx times sine of x, and then plus minus ax plus b times cosine of x. So that's the second derivative, just by using the product rule carefully a few times, right? Now what do we do from here? So we'll take these two things and we'll like add them together because that's the differential equation, right? And just see what happens. So let's see, we've got yp double prime plus yp is what? So let's see, can we do this like a little bit carefully? So what happens if we just collect the sine parts? Like if we look at the sine part here and the sine part here, what do we get when we add those together? Exactly, the bx is cancel and we're left with minus 2a. And then let's do the same thing for the cosine part. So plus something, times the cosine part. Okay, so what happens there? The ax is canceled and we're just left with b. And notice that we'd be kind of hosed if that was not the case because there's no x's over here on the right-hand side of the equation, right? Yeah, so that has to happen. Okay, so we want this to be equal to four cos x minus two sine of x. But what does that tell you about a and b. Yeah, A, careful about like the roles here. So let's see, that and that, and then, so, so B is four, right? And A is one, does that seem right? Yeah. So that means we've got our first particular solution, which is what we get if we wrote that down. So X cos X plus four X sine X.